Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I wanted to come and wish you a wonderful day for there is great celebration ahead. I do feel it. I focus on the future that you want for yourself. I'm going to talk about the inner planes and the outer comments, make some brief comment on the outer planes the world stage as well, but it is far more important to focus on the inner stage. You want to deconfine your heart. Your heart is, is really being confined. It's for the heart connects us all. We're all connected. Everything that is not love in your heart is, has to be removed. You want to remove, release all that is non-divine within your life. Expurge it. Align with the higher frequency of your soul and your spirits and your guides. And you can also align with galactic families and groups and, and archangels and and, and they will bring you a lot of feeling good for, for if an information makes you feel afraid or, or makes you feel uncomfortable. It does not come from the higher planes. That's, your, that, that's basically your, bar, your barometer, your, your GPS, huh? your, your, your emotion state, your feeling state. Started drinking some tea. I can surround the coffee today. So, so there is a great deal of transformation within our consciousness, but... But we want to see the, the physical manifestation and we, we, sometimes they're kind of slow in coming. Um, for we're only experiencing a very small fraction of what we're creating here. We're creating some really wonderful shift on the solar system, the galactic planes. The whole universe has been affected and we're preparing to us, for ourselves with this ascension process, a cosmic future that is utterly beyond Earth's incarnation and life. We're going to have cosmic life in the future. So we cannot see all the... The goods we're creating in this process, um, for here I'm just a messenger, I'm not here to create, start a new religion for the law of one, it belongs to anyone who practice that law of one. Huh? Uh, I'm not attached to the role of spiritual teacher, it is just a tool by which to, I'm using to, to support support the shift and to sustain it for, for and, and to bring about the, the soul soul connection soul energy the soul is all about love creativity and and, uh, and innovation <clears throat> And so I also wrote a book that I'm going to publish in many languages that will assist the, the proper humanity. I put it in the in my my box below. It's like the beginning has been translated, an audio book. It's called Beyond the Veils of Illusion. I am. Um, there is the first introduction and first chapter in the link below, and there is a few chapters in the playlist if you care to to listen to it. I'm going to pull a few cards to see what uh, what the angels may recommend for us today to 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 be. Um, <clears throat> So the past is rejoicing. For we, we've been, uh, we, there is we've come into this this awakening, and the awakening is a good uh, is a good reason for, for 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 rejoicing. Right now, it is about complementarity, is to find our place in the world. It's uh, it's it's about um, it's about being. Um, be, being, finding also all the people and situation that we need to find our full creative potential. What is coming in the future and the near future is an inspired action. It's going to be, uh, we're going to be, we're going to be moved into action after this year of, of, of the past year of slow, uh, of really like introspection, forced into, uh, into um, house arrest. The whole world has been put into house arrest. Huh? Uh, where we're working on now is enthusiasm to stay, stay, stay enthusiastic. Regardless, do not let yourself be be be, be dragged into any um, impatience or anything like that. The light has won; uh, it will all come. And what is coming in the future as a result is making clear requests. We're going to request from the universe that we that we have all we need, and to, to continue to learn to make requests, to communicate with your guides and angels and spirit guides and and all the the great beings of the of the higher planes that I can hear to assist. We want to we want to focus on freedom and peace. And, and the more freedom and peace, the more we'll be, we have, then we'll be able to start to communicate with extra, advanced extraterrestrials. And uh, there is all sorts of communities and groups that are waiting to be introduced to introduce themselves. Like the, there is a group of blue avians. They're like humans, but they are blue. And they are they have wings, they're avians, and they're very they ascended. They're here to assist, as well as the Agarten and all kinds of other families that are there to 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 make themselves known. For this planet was known for a very long time as a prison planet. We were like confined here, and it's like uh, uh, believing we're the only life in the universe that was separated from each other. So we came into this program to break free from these parameters from within. Is the only way to to create the break the 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 breakout <laughs> we're gonna break out of this quarantine so focus on the future you wish to experience it is very important you want to regain your true identity your true soul identity you want to refine your your energy refine your 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 thoughts we work on forgiveness on healing on discernment and temperance 
and, and let go of all the outer predictions, for they're really slowing everything down, the outer prediction of time, and uh, is, I'm going to discuss a little bit what's going on about a perception, an observation, a point of view on, on what is going on on the outer planes, but, but the inner self is so far, far more important, uh, uh, for it is as we, the more we, we, we evolve internally, the faster the change outside will come. It is all depending on the collective consciousness. And... Uh, <clears throat> And understanding when we, if we decided we're going to go somewhere, there's many ways to go about it. We can walk, we can take a car, we can take the small road, we can take the highway, we can take a plane, you can take a train. So maybe everybody will find their own way. Huh? And so, so just trust that and make your own way towards your destination, which is a liberated experience. The highest wisdom is the soulmates connecting whatever feels strong on the soul level to connect to the souls so to attract your, your soulmate. Ask uh, this request to ask God that, to, to bring you, though you are guardian angel, to bring you in connection with your soulmates. What we need to understand is the tribe is, uh, is connecting to all those people that are vibrating on the same level as we are. It is like this family of soul. What we need to do is approaching the precipice. It's, we're not going to need to make some decisions. There are decisions that need to be made. And the outcome is this new life. And there's new life. A brand new cycle is beginning. So it is quite exciting. Um, for the light as one, uh, it, it is a fact. There, there, is no, there is no way around that. For it is better to understand what, what's your place within the chess, the, the, the game. Uh, to, to always readjust your place rather than trying to, to, to see the whole game. It is very impossible. For this, it's so vast. Um, so we want to know how we will unfold, but 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 it's more important to know what is your situation within within the now, uh, rather than then trying to 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 have the, the, the to move the place and and the, the, the so so any one moment everything has been re redesigned one moment at the time as 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 we grow and evolve, and uh, do not let the delay distract you from the rewards. There is great rewards that will be coming. For this freedom that we expect is like we were expecting from from the United States on the, um, this this inauguration and like a great uh, great revelation. But but the truth will come like a champagne cork that just like blow. It's gonna blow, and when it's gonna blow, it's gonna bring a lot of light. The truth will be there's gonna be a lot of light and beautiful things. But there's gonna be some heavy things to, to, to that's gonna come up. Huh? So. And the truth will soon be known, but but if it's if it was known now, there is so many people that are. It is not the dark forces that are preventing the truth from coming out. It is the public opinion. It is the collective consciousness. People are so rigid within their mind and beliefs that if if too much truth is revealed at, at once, it would create civil war all over the world. Millions of people would die, and it's it's not wanted. So it has to come to be. It has to come little by little. It is like a moped show. Huh? It is uh, just they're just puppets, and and, and even though the reptilians that are behind the world, they've been deprived of the the, the astral connection. They, they have no, they, they are in fear. They, they do not know. They're losing the control, and. and and most of the p political criminals have been arrested huh? and they've been replaced by clones. The clones don't know their clones and people do not know their clones. But if they were removed all at once, it would create such a chaos that it would be like a very, very difficult to handle for the mass population. So, And the clones will run their program subconsciously and then they will extinguish themselves and they can also be turned off at the time. But revelation will come when it is the time, huh? for it is all about public opinion. All about the collective consciousness. I'm just here to connect some dots. Huh? Also wanted to say that um, I, will, I was supportive of. Uh, I am supportive of, of President Trump. I see he's done a lot of great work for America, but he's, he's got a little. Um, and I'm continuing to be supportive of him. Um, yet, uh, the, the, why was in why was he able to continue his work is because uh, the, the main reason, from a cosmic standpoint, in relationship to the ascension, and, and that I love America and it's, it's my home just as much as. Uh, I've lived there for, for decades, and I like I love it, and we'll be back there. So, but his, his his work is really much about America first, America against the world. We're ready to step on everybody else to make America great. For, for it is great that America needs to be free, and he's done a lot of great work. But but it needs to be more universal. It, it has to be a win-win situation. Whether in order for America to win, everybody else has to lose, and that doesn't work anymore. And that's why he was he wasn't able to continue his programs. Um, 
yet he's done some great works. I, I, I was hoping that he would be able to continue his work regardless, but he needs to, to, to be more sensitive to minorities and, and to, be more, uh, to, to be more universal, to see it's a win-win situation. And I want to thank President Putin because he's, he's the one who's been preventing so those, those world wars. He's, he's the one who's... Uh, and he's made a declaration recently that he says it's, it's too much. <coughs> it's too much. It's like uh, the, those satanic plans of the, the depopulation and all those things. It's too much, and it's like fear the fear the will of God, but fear my will as well, because I'm gonna I'm gonna step against all those tyrannical programs. For for he's, he's been, we'll see at the end. He's, he's been portrayed in the media as the as the boogeyman or whatever. But in, in truth, he's working for humanity. We'll know that, and he's very universal. And um, I'm, I'm I'm very grateful. I do feel like um, there is there is more consciousness there. And so, uh, so, so we'll see. Uh, he's made this very powerful declaration that he's ready to to step in the way of all those. Uh, for the, there's been some plans. I don't know if I should talk about it. I don't want to bring anything heavy. But but there is some groups on the earth that are that are trying to return to the. the they want to start a nuclear war and they want to use hydrogen bombs. And for that, it's completely forbidden. For for. <clears throat> um, Uranium and plutonium bombs are very devastating, but they, they are inert uh, element. Uh, when hydrogen is a living element, it's the very base of constitution of the universe. Right? So it's like the Ashtar Command have been positioned. They position millions of ships that can uh, to, to 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 countermeasure any action. They will not be allowed to start those nuclear wars and right? this um, the, the NATO and all those things. They need money. They need war in order to survive. Huh? And and for that, Russia has been um, counterbalancing that. Huh? trying to keep them in check because otherwise they, they, they would have done that but they will not be allowed to, to use um, living atoms like hydrogen or nitrogen or oxygen or carbon or fluoride or uh, sodium those are living atoms and they're, 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 they're the base of the life force and so so they will not be allowed to, to utilize they have the technology to make hydrogen bomb but they will not be allowed and all of this is uh, the, the, so. So it's like a focus on your inner self. Trust God. Trust that the plan is everything. Every detail of the plan is is taken care of. So just want to come and talk about this. It's it maybe uh, maybe a bit heavy because we live in a world that has have, all kinds of things are going to come up. And huh? so so. But when humanity is ready, before that, we don't want to create uh, chaos and trust. Trust that. Um, has to come in a, in a gentle way as much as possible. And so um, I had a dream last night that I was on vacation with someone. I, w I wonder if I should, should, someone I know, it's like, sh should, I, should, I, should I tell this person that I had a dream that we were on vacation together? Or like, um, I'm not really sure. It's funny, it was on, on a beach in Italy, I think. It was like... Strange, strange. You know, dreams are strange sometimes. So I'm going to sing a song to finish, and so we want to deconfine our heart, to focus on love, to focus on peace, to let go of all those things, to trust that God is 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 taking care of all that, and there are higher beings that are supervising all those processes. And just do your part. Just your part is to be at peace, to find, to find the joy, to 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 focus on the future you really want, this liberated future. So I'm going to sing this song to finish. It's a, it's a song. Um, it says it talks about uh, what, what, what would we recognize each other if we were meeting in heaven? It goes like this: Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? I must be strong. And carry on, cause I know I don't belong here in heaven. Would you hold my hand if I saw you in heaven? Would you help me stand if I saw you in heaven? <clears throat> I'll find my way through night and day Cause I know I just can't stay here in heaven Time can bring you down, time can bend your knees Time can break your heart 
have you begging please begging please beyond the door there's peace i'm sure and i know there'll be no more tears in heaven would you know my name if i saw you in heaven would it be the same if i saw you in heaven i must be strong and carry on cause i know i don't belong here in heaven you can fly sing with eric clapton of course we do belong in heaven uh, but but one thing that is true there will be no more tears in heaven it is uh, it is completely um, doesn't exist there it's all about joy and the integration level is, is too important we, everything is healed once we get there so it is about the card of the day is the nine of gabriel it says um, um, show determination and move forward be ready for anything environmental activism so we have to be ready for anything. Any kind sort of revelation can come up at any time, but stay focused on your inner self, on your inner sense of peace. That's, that's really what's going to assist the most and accelerate the process as, a, a lot more than just uh, always be uh, w looking for elements on the outside. Uh, this doesn't help. It's by as, uh, ascending our consciousness that, that we accelerate the process because we are able to radiate more of that light on the unconscious level. Conscious, conscious or unconscious level and then, then other people are elevating their consciousness and as the consciousness elevates, more revelation can come into the, the collective mind and consciousness. I thank you very much. If you want a private session, do not hesitate to send me an email and I thank you for your likes, your sharing, your comments, your subscription and your donation. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.